Okay, so I'm going to go off on a bit of a rant here, uh, without any notes or anything, uh, because, like, I've noticed this recently, like, very recently, like, it, it, it hasn't been, but, like, not even 48 hours since, uh, Alien Theory, yeah, it's an Alien Fan Theory, uh, fan video, uh, uploaded this, uh, video going into the Xenomorph's regenerative abilities, um, and I actually have to give him props for, for going the extra, the extra mile, the extra controversial, uh, uh, mile, uh, and postulating the possibility maybe, you know, we haven't actually ever seen a Xenomorph die on screen before, and uh, this, this is something that a lot of people are just, like, kind of like shooed and like shamed away from uh 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 saying uh or thinking about or, pu or putting forward in in any way and it's good to see that this this maybe you know silent uh not necessarily fringe but 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 definitely quiet uh fan theory uh is getting attention um and uh, the response has been, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's been, uh, entertaining watching, um, people who I assume are, are I, in good faith, assume are alien fans, but are, uh, newer alien fans. I won't go so far as to say that they're Predator or Halo f or whatever fans pretending to be alien fans. Um. Uh, but maybe, may, perhaps they're just alien fans who who are just young and they haven't seen like they didn't grow up with it uh, the way some of the others have. Uh, and I, I, you know, when I was born, uh, the first three aliens had already come out. But uh, but anyway, I'm I, most of my life, definitely a large portion of my childhood, uh, has has been being an alien fan. Um, and, you know, the, the aliens never really scared me, like, I mean, like, the first one, kind of, when I was, like, real little, I was like, ooh, but, uh, um, yeah, they never struck me as a particularly weak or frail, uh, thing, um, uh, but yet, yeah, so many people are just, like, flailing at the thought that maybe they're way way stronger and stranger and uh more alien than even some fans could have uh foreseen um like the idea that that some rando on the internet knows more about the alien than ridley scott himself is just it, it i don't want to say insane but it's it's certainly something like that it's 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 definitely arrogant as, as hell uh um yeah, I mean, what Ridley is saying about the alien being able to regenerate uh, from near death uh, has been something that has been in the Alien series from the beginning. Um, and we know that the the, the facehugger, um, when Ash cuts the facehugger with the laser in the lab, uh, that it's, it's not like, you know... It, it just starts bleeding to death and then falls off. Obviously, that didn't happen. The events of the first movie could not have happened uh, if if that had killed the face hugger. Um, clearly, it is fine. It's sitting there like nothing had even happened, and obviously, it isn't bleeding anymore, so it has regenerated. And that took place over the span of a few seconds. You have to understand this is molecular acid of extremely corrosive nature. It was literally bleeding through starship holes. They had to race down to the bottom. They went down to one floor. It's like, it's still going. Let's go down to the next one. And then they went down to the next one and it, it had, had stopped. But that, like, that level of as, like, you have to understand, like, the whole thing, like, the main thing other than, like, its extremely lethal nature is that it bleeds acid. And this acid is so acidic, it will kill you. Obviously, if it can bleed through starship holes. 
And the, the only way that that could happen is if it was so acidic that it literally did so in seconds. So if that, if like it was like as frail as like some people think it is, uh, that would have killed the face hugger. Like you do that too. Um, I mean, in, it, there, there, there are like, according to some people anyway, uh, life forms on Earth that are more resilient and dangerous and lethal than xenomorphs, which is absurd. Like, the, the whole premise of the entire franchise falls to pieces if it is just, like, moderate level danger. Like, the idea that a well-equipped and competent and lucky person can kill a xenomorph, just some rando that just has the right equipment in the right place at the right time can kill a xenomorph is absurd. It is nuts. And, like, th this is, like, this this is this is the problem. Um, the main problem is that fan bases nowadays seem to feel the need, like they they have the right to be spoon fed every little detail of lore, and and if if they're unable to, you know, connect two and two by themselves, that that somehow on the the creator or the filmmaker or the writer or whatever. Like it, the, like there's some things that don't need to be said out loud. It is implied, and it, it's it's part of the the viewing experience to to be able to, like, be an audience that it wants to solve problems and put pieces together, and you know, to see if they can do it before the characters do it. Like that's that's a whole. A huge part of filmmaking, and it always has been, and writing in general, art uh, the, of that of that medium. Um, uh, yeah, um, it, it it just it blows my mind that 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 there are people that like just like assume at face value, like where where is like the the in depth critique of like. Uh, DC or Marvel or Star Wars or Halo or any of these like ob objectively bigger more popular franchises and like the idea that there could be a lesser known uh, fictional character or entity or series or whatever that like can go toe to toe with these other uh, fictions or characters or what have you uh, it, it just it 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 I don't know what it does to people, but it, like, makes them, like, start glitching out and, like, malfunctioning almost. Like, they can't, they can't comprehend that, that, like, and, you know, not, not to digress too much, but, like, imagine how some of these people would react to being told something about the real world, uh, that, that threat, um, uh, uh, shatters their perceived, uh, previously held views of it. The alien is virtually indestructible. Um, it, it, um, yeah, uh, um, I don't know what else to say. Like, like, it is, like, literally up there with the thing. I have vivid memories of being on internet forums in the early 2000s. Granted, I was eight or nine years old. I did not have the mental capacity to, uh, uh, create an, an email account uh, and register an account on the forum with that email and let alone post and interact. But I have sat there and read the conversations, the debates between people uh, in these threads stretching back to the early 90s um, where they would have debates about could the alien defeat the thing? Uh, because it was an alien versus predator uh, forum, uh, and the consensus was broadly that you know, yeah, the thing would win, but the alien could definitely go toe to toe with it and mess it up. Um, and the thing wiped out an entire galaxy of life. Like if you, if you, I don't know as much about the thing as I do the alien universe, but I do know that like. It basically wiped out all life in the galaxy, and that's why we can't find aliens. Um, so, I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. Like, like, 
you could say, yeah, of, of course, uh, the Halo universe could beat the Alien universe, but that's meaningless because one's a video game and one's a movie, and one and they're not even in the same genre. To on top of that, um, I I would easily see like a small group of aliens, like like or like one the size of the one on Haley's Hope, like literally like tearing through unsc marines like a knife through butter like they have never gone up against anything like the alien even the flood they're, they're like they're, they're reanimated dead flesh like they they doubled down on that fact in halo 3 you can literally kill them with a single melee attack they're they're rotting flesh mostly like that like most of like 99.9 percent .9 of the UNSC's encounters with the Flood were with the the rotting, decaying space zombie variant. They don't know what it's like to go up against something that does not need plasma, that does not need shields or armor or te technology or space travel or any of that shit whatsoever to be just what it is. Like, it just is. It just... It, 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 it peels itself out of the fabric of space-time itself and just goes on a killing rampage. Like, let us not forget that the crew of the Nostromo were all had military background of some kind. Like, you can look it up, except Ash, she was an android. Literally, Dallas, uh, uh, Parker, Brett, Lambert, uh, I'm not so sure about Lambert, uh, and Kane, uh, all four of them had had military background training. They had all been in military campaigns. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure. Uh, at least I know Dallas has literally fought in a war. Um, like the, these weren't just space truckers. Like yeah, of course they were space tr truckers in the story. What they were doing at that time, but they were also like military veterans with combat training. They were not pushovers. Remember, Parker was built like a brick shit house, and that thing just grabs him and pins him into the wall with like no effort. He's struggling, he's fighting, and he's flying, and that thing's just like, like just like it's not. You don't even see it. Like, like it's just like, like these things are are like walking tanks. They they are walking, crawling, scuttling tanks. They they literally like. I don't. Uh, I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Coming from the one person that survived an encounter with the Xenomorph, like they, they're literally like, like they're not like. He even goes in Alien Theory in the video. Even goes like in depth, and he says like, um, he literally goes and says these things aren't like the bugs from Starship Troopers. They're not just this writhing like like, mass of, like, cannon fodder, like, so many people like to be, like, oh, that's what they were an alien. No, the first time, the, the first time the Marines countered the, the aliens in that film, we just got our asses kicked, pal. Literal, literally what Hudson says. I don't know if you've been paying attention to current events, but we just got our asses kicked, pal. Like, they, they there is no, like, way to spin that first encounter of the Marines with the aliens as a victory. Like, there's no way. There's no way, and you could say, oh, well, they, they, they couldn't use their weapons because of the cooling tank. Well, they used their weapons anyway. Who's firing that? God damn it. Like, but Gorman screams when, when Vasquez is like, fuck this, let's rock. And, you know, like, they got, they still, like, even using their weapons. They're half, like, yeah, it was like, where's Bowski, Apone, um, uh, Pharaoh, uh, Frost, uh, and at least like two or three other marines which is like over ha half of their of their of the squad that they went down there with they they killed like um uh, they killed like they they like made up for their they just barely like made up for their losses and alien deaths like their kill death ratio was like zero zero or it was even like they're like it was a stalemate at best that's being generous to the Marines, like literally, like they're saying that the alien is virtually indestructible, if not indestructible, is not a controversial thing, and it is no reason to flip out about. I'm just saying, like this, it, this has been a, a rant uh, that has gone on a bit longer. 
uh, than I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, in, in Alien 3, they literally dump 15 tons of boiling hot lead on this thing. 15 tons. And you could say, oh, well, it was the mass was distributed evenly because it was a, in a liquid form. Uh, no. Uh, it, that's not how these uh, physics work. That's not how these things work. If you hit a body of water all at once, or it hits you all at once, it is like being hit with a solid object. I literally, when I was nine years old, I fell off, um, it was about a 40 foot tall cliff, landed flat on my back. It knocked the, the it, I landed on the water flat on my back. I did not go through. It was not like how I imagined what it would happen. I didn't mean to, it was an accident, but it hurt. It knocked all the wind out of my body. It, like, I literally could not breathe for, like, almost two minutes straight. I could have died. Like, and that was, like, a, a, ha a third or a fifth of the height from which they dropped this boiling hot lead on this alien at the end, at the end of the third one. They literally, it was, like, it had to be, like, 100, 200 feet in the air. This, this thing was held up. And they, they dropped this boiling, and it's, it's lead, not water, lead. It doesn't matter what form lead is in. It hurts. It kills you. It's lead. They dumped 15 tons of boiling hot lead on this thing, and all it did was piss it off. The, this thing wrenches, it, peels itself up out of this out of this quickly hardening, solidifying, boiling vat of lead. And the only thing that beat it was that they acted quickly and used science and thermodynamics. They had to literally be like, oh, if we don't kill this thing, we're all dead. Even like they, they like even if they had sent the 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 alien catchers in, like they still would have died. Like the the this being as far as like fictional characters are concerned, the last thing you want to do is underestimate or nerf or downplay the 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 durability and strength and and just overall scary levels of lethality possessed by the xenomorph. But like no, pick a different hill to die on. The xenomorph is virtually indestructible. Like if if you were to make an a, a AVP movie that actually did the creatures justice, and I'm almost done. I swear. Um, if you were to actually do an AVP movie right, it, you would have an alien picking predators off one by one, just like it did to the crew of the Nostromo. Now, granted, they would eventually figure out a way to kill it, but it's not going to be an, a, a fair fight for the predators if they do not have technology specifically designed to kill aliens like you had predators using the weapons that they hunt humans with and that in my opinion was just incorrect like like no like you're gonna have predators in head to toe in like battle armor with like like lasers like that is how you do actually ironically alien versus predator extinction did it the best despite its weird graphics and you know, the the way they designed the aliens and predators was pretty goofy. But, like, the overall lore, uh, like, as far as, like, the alien hunting military predators go, like, and some other things were pretty cool. Um, but I digress, and I'm almost done. Um, uh, uh, yeah, like, it, yeah, there... There's nothing wrong with saying, with asking the question, is it indestructible? Literally in the first movie, Ash says, when at Ripley asks him, there has to be a way. How do we kill it? How? How do we do it? You can't. And in that context, he is absolutely right. They did not have the ability to kill that thing with their current resources, other than killing themselves by blowing up the ship along with themselves. And in Aliens, how do you kill them? Drop a nuke from orbit. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's about it.